Hey, I'm Callie or Luxury Hotel Girl. Let's begin and jump into it. Sunny Hill was so amazing. I mean, first you walk up, I went in December, so it's you'll see a lot of festive decor, but the grounds are absolutely breathtaking. I don't know if videos and pictures even do it that much justice, but you can imagine this in the summer, right? With weddings going on and like the greenery that encompasses the entire building. This is the lobby and it's quite spacious. So there's an area where you check in and sit down and then they have all these seating as well. Um, and then look at this outdoor space. This is on the way to the spa. So that whole building right there is the spa and this is the lobby area. And I'm gonna show you the view from the lobby right there. So there's pool, there's a couple of outdoor hot tubs. This is the large changing room. There's a lot of quaint little spaces where you can sit and relax as well. This is the women's. The showers are beautiful. Okay, this is the where the, I got the massage and it was really good. It obviously needs like a little bit of, of updating, but <laughs> it did the job. And uh, this is the relaxation room, which is really nice. They served wonderful teas and it was delicious. And then I went and explored the spa. This is the indoor pool, so massive. And they had an indoor hot tub and then all these little rooms that you can explore as well. Blue rooms, steam rooms, saunas, all different types. So it's really fun. Like aromatherapy and then they have women only rooms as well and look at this huge sauna it's, i love good sauna like what is better than that this is again you can see the hot tub from there let's get to the rooms and that is the do not disturb <laughs> so i think it's a baby deer had this amazing suite you can see how massive it is and you know you're in the english countryside and it's so relaxing pe peaceful it feels like you're almost staying in a castle, which is really fun. The bed is so ornate. I mean, look at that detailing. And there's the door to the outside. I love the old school details as well. Typical standard tea coffee area machine. They had some custom details, as you can see with the happy birthday, but there's this huge walk-in area with wardrobes that you can put all your clothes in and then this huge luxurious private jacuzzi room which is unbelievable and i just imagine like this is when people look at their significant other and they're like go get the fawn <laughs> and it becomes this code word <laughs> there's a guy throwing the baby fawn like outside the door <laughs> it holds everything else you know big walk-in shower toilet area sinks where you get ready let me show you what some other rooms look like i also want to mention this is a pet friendly hotel and then let me show you the restaurant area i think it's really cool there's a really pretty hallway leading to it and staircase with this amazing chandelier by the way that is real gingerbread like the chefs made that whole entire thing it's real gingerbread um anyways this is the bar restaurant um they serve breakfast lunch dinner the restaurant i showed just now is called hillfield and that's more of their casual dining option I'm so bad at remember remembering to take pictures of food but i finally got it for you guys this is the breakfast gotta get the good stuff typical options for luxury hotels you know they have the continental they have the hot breakfasts, and then a really nice display of cheeses and meats and parfaits juices a restaurant in the spa and it has great salad bar options um and it's pretty you know healthy fresh organic and then they also have afternoon tea lily pond terrace is closed obviously in the winter but that seems really nice and stunning located like around a pond so you can eat outside but then they also have a michelin starred dining restaurant called latimer i hope i pronounced that right it has been awarded Michelin star and four AA rosettes. So some facts, history about Penny Hill. It's located in Big Shot, England in Surrey. It's the home base of the England rugby team training grounds. So you might see the coach of the rugby team, you know, hanging out in the restaurant or maybe some players. The first references on the Penny Hill land date back all the way into 1500s and then the house was built in 1849 this brand is owned by exclusive hotels and their niche is top tier countryside 
hotels, like house hotels, typically like a really great spa experience as well. I've been to a few exclusive hotels and it's exactly what you want in an English countryside hotel. They just, they know, they nail it on the head every time. If you need a good staycation, if you're coming to England and want a really nice countryside hotel, stay at Penny Hill. I would definitely go back.